Hello, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I am going to do a reading for those of you who have found yourself um, in a soul connection of sorts. This would be, you would resonate with soul contracts, twin flame. This would be a catalyst to um, a grand awakening of yours while connecting with another, finding your true soul essence. Um, a lot of times when these connections come together, they only stay together for a short period of time before um, the truth of the situation is revealed and both parties um, split with their childhood wounds and the work that they need to do to heal and to evolve and grow. So I am part of this community. I have definitely had um, another come into my life that woke me up in a very grand way and um, had gone through that part of the journey. It's been going on five years now. This energy for me started in 2017. Uh, off and on, uh, it's dwindled now, but the energy's still alive. So I'm gonna do a reading for you, water signs. If you find yourself in this type of connection with another and you're not physically together, um, but you're still feeling that energy. You're still maybe having dreams of this person or synchronicities are coming into you regarding this person, songs, memories, the energy is still very alive. And we're feeling that right now within the astrological transits for sure. Neptune's doing a lot of work with us, um, kind of keeping us in that fantasy land that we do go into, especially when we go into separation. This is where I feel we hold the connection in the higher realms while it is um, being healed or worked out here in the third dimensional on earth. Um, whether, regardless whether the two souls reconnect here in the physical on earth in this lifetime or not, it is up to both souls to do the work that um, is needed for them to come back to their own wholeness, come back to their own unique light and power, uh, releasing all of the patterns, codependencies, addictions, habits. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of work that we go through once awakened by the catalyst. So water signs, Let's see where your person is at or where your journey is at currently for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What is going on with the water signs in soul connections that are separated here on the earth plane currently? I think that's the <laughs> graceful way of saying it all. There's a lot that I have learned through this journey, personally. Yeah, that's what I thought. Water signs, I think for everybody, the energy is accelerated. Uh, we're sensing and feeling, and we're picking up on a lot that maybe we didn't before. We're learning lessons faster, too. We're coming back to our own strength and our wholeness. This energy is moving fast. We did have a lot more activity come off from the sun Last night, the Schumann resonance is starting to spike again. There's a lot of high frequency energy coming in on to the planet right now. That's waking a lot of people up, sh jolting, shifting us in multiple ways to um, move past some old stuff. And it's probably not um, very comfortable while we're in it, but it is for our soul growth, for our evolution. So water signs. The, wa the, the water, <laughs> the energy is accelerating, accelerated motion. So your soul growth is moving in a faster direction. Maybe you're starting to really come into your own strength and power and wisdom within yourself. That's a beautiful thing. I am a can uh, Cancer. I am a Scorpio sun. I'm definitely feeling this uh, energy so far resonating with this message. 
The water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Sorry for the glare on my glasses. It's very sunny here today. And uh, I have a lot of windows <laughs> facing me. Not much I can do about that water signs, but we work with what we got. Base chakra. This is the time water signs to really work on getting grounded and feeling more stable and rooted within yourself, within your environment, your um, whatever it is that you are working on within yourself. If you have practices, techniques, uh, use them. Um, I always suggest go outside in nature. Grounding can always start with just taking your shoes off and putting them on the earth. Getting by a body of water, going out near some trees, give a tree a hug. They actually do have energy that can they can exchange with us. Okay, water signs, what else? Right, because if once we are grounded and rooted here on Earth, our energy is brought down from Neptune, from the other realm. So we're not stuck in that fantasy world, that nebulous, um, I feel like we all tend to cope and go into that fantasy world, either, you know, when we're having a bad day or um, just when we're ready to go to bed at night or whatever, we kind of dream into that fantasy world. Sometimes we feel ourselves getting pulled into it. And most likely my read on that is when the other is going into the fantasy world. We kind of pull each other into Neptune. And we wanna ground that energy. We wanna bring that energy back to earth, back to ourselves. That energy is ours. It was awakened by a catalyst who shared very similar uh, resonance, blueprint of energy. However, it is has nothing to do really with the other person. It has to do with that person waking us up from the old self, from the false self, from our patterns of coping and our, you know, we had to really take off the masks, take off the armor, become vulnerable, find ourselves, getting more in tune with the authentic versions of ourselves. <sighs> Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. For soul connections, soul contracts, twin flames in physical separation. Okay. Sacral chakra, positive movement forward. Great. So the other uh, part is going from the root chakra to the sacral. The next one in line, this would be getting in touch with your creativity. Doesn't mean you have to be an artist or a musician or anything, but your creative energy, your creative fire. Um, also your libido, um, your sacred sexuality, that energy is powerful. It is what we utilize to create the life we desire. So most likely this energy is still being worked on. Most likely has been uh, in an imbalance for quite some time, which makes it harder to connect to others in general. We kind of don't feel like we um, resonate with anybody and it's, it's really difficult to make those connections when the sacral chakra is imbalanced. So you wanna work on balancing that out as well as a lot of the planetary transits are assisting as well water signs. Um, uh, there's certain crystals. <laughs> I'm trying to think of all of them, but anything associated with the color orange and, um, you know, that sa those sacral fire, this is what you want to, uh, help get back into balance for yourself. You'll start to feel, uh, more, um, 
empowered, but you're going to be inspired. There will be new ideas, new inspirations popping off for you, which then will bring a lot of positive movement forward for you, water signs. Once you get the sacral chakra, once you get grounded, uh, because the energy is... Um, rapidly increasing, become grounded and rooted and stable within yourself. Work on those creative juices, the sacral chakra, your your sacred sexuality, that fire within you, and you'll see a lot of positive movement forward for yourself. Even if it's just, you know, maybe you've been in uh, down in the dumps or just, you know, having a hard time navigating this energy. But you want to get in touch with a part of you that felt more just free spirit and um, colorful. So whatever you can do to get back, get yourself feeling that way, whether it's, um, you know, a certain outfit to wear or a certain way to wear your hair or, or jewelry for, for females or males, um, get in touch with what gets your juices flowing, water signs. It will be a triumphant success. This is a beautiful time to actually start creating because uh, with passion, with that sacral chakra, you will be recognized by the universe. And I can tell you from experience that there's always a nice gift, a nice reward once you overcome one of your obstacles or hurdles um, energetically and get out of your own way. There's many different ways. Bottom of the deck for you water signs, deception and envy. So this is the overall uh, energy for this reading. It has to do with how the mind has deceived us through that this journey, um, placing blame on the other, placing blame on you know things not being fair, instead of taking a look internally to see what is this showing me? What is this showing me that I want to improve within myself? That is a beautiful, beautiful reading water signs. We're gonna <clears throat> wrap this up with an advice card from The Soul's Journey for you. Because you know, water signs, we're really, you know, it, it is our higher self, our spiritual guidance, our spirit team, whatever you want to call it, source energy, God, you know, there is no such thing as rejection. There's a saying, rejection is God's protection, right? And I don't, I actually don't even like to use that word, not because I don't believe, but um, what <laughs> that word has been used throughout lifetimes after lifetimes and the belief that stemmed to it is completely opposite of what I have been brought to know. Anyway, Whatever it is, whatever higher power you resonate with, they're protecting you right now. You don't want to get into a deep soul contract or connection until you're fully connected and know yourself. Fully. Fully know yourself. You can be authentic regardless. A lot of us tend to, you know be a little different around other people and this is really showing us that um you know if you really want deep connections you've got to connect deeply to yourself water signs first know yourself in and out and already be happy feel good about life and yourself so that it doesn't lie on another person to actually hold that energy for you this is what's being worked um, for all of us, water signs. So your advice at this time. And know that these readings are general. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. This is the reading for sun, moon, or rising water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. If you would like a personal reading, you can book through my website. I will leave a link in the description box. But that is be the change. 333.com. I also um, design and create uh, healing, energy healing jewelry, such as the amethyst bracelet I'm wearing now. They're all, and I do them myself, so I infuse them with Reiki energy, and they are also for sale on my website.
just a little plug. If you like this video, please uh, click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. You will help me build this channel. I'm just getting started, um, but I would like to uh, spread messages out to more and more people. Okay, water signs, and you got the card of loneliness. And it says, I know that I am never alone. I'm going to read this from the book for you, Water Signs. This card actually has a lot of history for me. It's a little weathered. It was uh, fell down between the two boards of a friend's um, deck and stayed there for a few months uh, before the deck got pulled out and we were, were able to retrieve it. I was surprised it was actually still in condition. All right, water signs. This card has come to you because you must be reminded that there is a difference between being lonely and being alone. Feelings of loneliness originate from a sense of not appreciating the most important person in your life, you. If solitude seems like an affliction, you need to work on creating a healthy relationship with yourself. Only then will you attract others who will nurture your soul. If you don't develop a healthy relationship with yourself first, you will only draw unhealthy relationships to you. As I was saying, water signs, and we don't want that. We don't need that. To create a healthy, positive relationship with yourself, you must begin to feel worthy of love. The pessimism of this physical dimension can affect your self-esteem if you don't have the strong conviction that you are valuable and meaningful. Don't view solitude as a weakness. It is merely your soul telling you that it is time to do some inner work and reevaluate your path before you start to shine. As you sit in the silence of your soul, you will realize that your spirit family, teachers, and guides are with you. You are never alone, water signs. That is a beautiful card to wrap this up. And I have a feeling that like many of you, you may find yourself solo most of the time. And this is why, because we don't wanna attract um, the wrong types of energetic energy to us. We don't wanna attract um, those who have the same problems that we're working through um, to us right now because we're in a very uh, fertile and vulnerable time and um, we want to attract like attracts like right we want to get to a state where we feel whole so we attract somebody else who also is whole and we complement each other we don't um, rely on each other or need each other that is the ultimate um, goal in the future of relationships on this planet. So keep going, water signs. It seems as though you're really getting somewhere. So just practice being grounded and work on that sacral chakra as well. And try not to let the mind play tricks on you. There's a lot of trickster energy right now with Mercury kind of starting to move out of post retrograde shadow we have a few more days before we're clear of that and a lot of tricky energy there and then of course we have neptune too who likes to uh, play tricks as well so water signs this is what i have for you for this current time um on the planet so today is i have to see what day it is today is June 17th, although these readings are timeless. So when you click onto this message and it resonates for you, the message is for you. Um, please like and subscribe and share if you feel compelled to. Thanks, Water Signs. Bye.